So let's talk about what Marvel apparently has going on with this Blade movie and delays and all this stuff. Let's talk about it. Okay, so first I'll go through this article. This this one is older, um, and, but it was released when it when kind of news of shit being a little shaky dropped 13 days ago, it says. But as you can see here, the headline is report claims Mahershala Ali is unhappy with film, features two lackluster action sequences. The film is currently without a director. So Mahershala Ali is reportedly unhappy with the pre-production of Marvel's new Blade reboot. I'm told that the current Blade script is roughly 90 pages and features exactly two lackluster action sequences. Mahershala Ali is said to be very frustrated with the process. Feige said to be spread too thin, reported industry insider Jeff Snyder. The news comes just after Marvel's announcement that Tariq would no longer direct the movie. Now, the movie is set to film in just over a month with a planned production date set for November 2022 in Atlanta ahead of its current release date of November 3rd, 2023. Due to continued shifts in our production schedule, Tariq is no longer moving forward as director of Blade, but will remain an executive producer on the film. Uh, we appreciate his talent and all the work he's done getting Blade to where it is. So this is the first article that came, or these are, this is the first kind of news that dropped about just issues going on in Blade's production. And so if you're seeing here, the reason they said, oh, the script is 90 pages is because like that's short as fuck. Like, <laughs> they're just, and then Kevin Feige spread too thin. I'm, I'm, Feige is in charge of a lot of shit. We talking about like these one, these one off uh, Marvel, Disney Plus shows, charge of the t whole entire timeline of these phases, charge of these movies and the shit. Like, I mean, it's just a lot. And so when they are saying that this movie only had two fights or two lackluster action sequences and the lead actor is frustrated with the process, it's like, we have to remember that Mahershala Ali, I think he was the one who literally called Kevin Feige and personally said, like just made his interest known about playing this character. Right? And so you have somebody excited to do this, excited to be on, you know, acting in this and giving this to the world. It's also a reboot too. So you gotta, I don't know. I can totally understand Mahershala Ali being like, yo, I am not gonna, I'm not finna put my face on this, especially <laughs> with it being a reboot. Like I'm not putting my face on this if it ain't given what it's supposed to give like that, you know? And I mean, even just for just having pride in your work, <laughs> But also, it's like, if I'm gonna be bringing this to Marvel, Marvel audiences, and they there's a lot of weight on this. There's a lot of expectations that people have for this movie. And you can definitely look, Mahershal probably looked at that shit, was like, yo, I ain't doing that shit. Y'all gotta fix that shit up before I even step foot on set. Like, and I'm glad that they, I'm glad that you said that. So this is the main article here. It says, Marvel Studio pauses uh, Blade movie amid search for new director. Now this came out October, 2022. It was obviously set for pre-production in November in Atlanta. Um, so Marvel Studios is going to take some extra time to sharpen its Blade feature project. Ha ha, that was funny. <laughs> in the wake of parting ways with director Bassam Tariq, two weeks ago, the studio is pressing pause on the vampire adventure thriller that is to star Oscar winner Mahershala Ali. Marvel is temporarily shutting down production-related activities in Atlanta, where the project was to have shot uh, starting in November while it conducts a search for a filmmaker and further develops the feature. Crew members were notified Tuesday, according to a source. The studio is hoping to restart the production er in early 2023. After the publication of this story, Disney pushed Blade from its November 3rd, 2023 release date to September 6th. 2024, one of a slew of changes due to the film's delay. Blade had seen its start of production shift at least a couple times as it underwent several rounds of script rewrites. Bo DeMeo, who has worked on shows such as Star Trek, Witcher, blah, 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 um, is the current writer. When Tariq left the project, many presumed that a director would quickly 
uh, be slotted in so the production wouldn't miss too much time. But in the two weeks that have followed, it became, it became clear that Marvel wanted to slow down and deepen the search. By the same occasion, the studio thought it should take the time to coalesce other aspects of the future project. Uh, they want to really get it right, says one source. Blade has been one of Marvel's more anticipated films since the studio announced the project to much fanfare at San Diego Comic-Con in 2019. At the very end of the Marvel panel, Ali made a surprise appearance and put on a baseball cap with the Blade logo. So cool. Marvel Studios boss Kevin Feige later told uh, the Hollywood Reporter that Ali had personally called him. Oh yeah, had personally called him to express interest in playing the character. Blade was created, blah 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 blah. So this is just telling you about um, the history of Blade and Wesley Snipes and all that shit. So it's like I just really want them. I'm glad that the source is saying that that they really want to get it right. But also I feel like they have no, they had no choice but to to do this and to say this. And this is why I say this. <laughs> it's because I think Mahershala Ali was so smart in saying, yo. Listen, I know y'all want this movie to come out. The reason it's gonna come, it ain't gonna come out, or the reason I ain't gonna do it ain't cause of me, okay? Cause the script look like shit. <laughs> you know? The script look like shit. I know y'all want me to do it. I know y'all excited for the shit, but I ain't doing that shit, you know? If it doesn't look good. So with news of that already being dropped, and then you already looking for a new director, I can only imagine Marvel's like, yo. Because obviously there was they were very surprised, or people were surprised that they didn't just take another director from somewhere else like Marvel can and just snatch him up and put him in this movie and keep the production going. But I think if Mahershala did not come out or if sources didn't come out and say that Mahershala was not pleased with this shit, I, I think that's I think Marvel would have stuck another director in there and just kept it pushing, right? If he didn't say anything. But the fact that he did say something means that if they shove another, if they shove another director in there and just keep it going without going to re review the script or review these fight scenes or whatever and make the project better, then first of all, Mahershala Ali ain't gonna agree to it. Like that's, that's <laughs> he's he not gonna wanna do that shit. And I feel like they really want him. I think he would be perfect fit for that shit. Like, I think it'd be great, right? So they really want him. And on top of that, even if he did do it, after he done said that shit, that the script is trash, and then it does come out that the script is trash and the fighting is trash and everything is garbage, then it's gonna be like, okay, well, we can't even blame Mahershala. I mean, anybody with a right mind wouldn't blame an actor for all that shit. But you know what I mean? Like, all of the blame would go directly to Marvel and the rest of them girls because it's like, we already told, that you already told that the shit is garbage. <laughs> this shit was not good. That shit was not looking good. So I think that it's so smart that Marvel's like, okay, our, tea already, our card has already been pulled. The tea has already been spilled. And the director's already out. We're looking for a director. Might as well just make the search for the director longer. You know, make, just push back the movie. Make sure the script is good. Make sure the movie is good. So that we, so that the girls will not drag the shit out of it. It's Blade. <laughs> it's Blade, mama. Like, it's Blade. You can't be serious. So, yeah, I, I don't, I want to know what y'all think. Me personally, um, Especially when I was young, young, like I'm talking about teens or some shit, I would get pissed that a movie's being pushed back and blah, 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 blah. But as I'm older, I'm like, yo, get, make sure y'all get the shit right. It's fine. I could wait an extra six months or whatever. I could wait an extra year, whatever. But if the shit is garbage, it's just like, what point? Don't even make the shit. Get the shit right. Make sure it's good. Make sure Mahersa Ali feel comfortable doing what he need to do because that's talent. <laughs> that's a talent. Okay? And do it right. Do it good. Like, especially if I'm over here dragging DC all the time, like, bitch, y'all have to get y'all shit together too, girl. Marvel, don't, don't, Marvel, y'all gonna get me, y'all gonna get me start dragging you too. So yeah, that's the Blade news. Let me know what y'all think, uh, and I will catch y'all later.